Pool safety at schools is a top concern, and one parent wants to make sure all schools are ready. This after her child drowned earlier this year. WRTV's Meredith Hackler tells us about the training schools are required to provide staff. Whiteland High School student Elena Dildine drowned in a pool during P.E. due to a seizure. She had epilepsy. Now, her mother and community members are asking for change in the district. As if the negligence of Elena was not disturbing enough, this corporation, you, members of the board, are condoning and perpetuating this negligence within our schools. Victoria Dildine feels her daughter's death could have been prevented and is calling for the school to fire the PE teacher. Your position is to represent the voice of our community, to align with parents, to serve the good of our children. Continuing to employ this teacher, I assure you, does not align with parents. A 2019 law requires all school employees who have direct contact with students to go through training and to recognize the signs and symptoms of seizures and how to respond and take action. According to the Epilepsy Foundation, those signs and symptoms can be different based on the person. For different people, they have different action plans and those action plans will allow them to know when to call 911. The Epilepsy Foundation says there are a total of 23 states that require this training training in schools. Betty Jo Boucher played a big part in getting the law passed. Water safety training is um, in the official uh, version of seizure first aid um, that is offered by the Epilepsy Foundation. Um, it is, it's is—it's not required that you do those modules to be compliant with the legislation. So um, that may be a potential um, area of disconnect here. I reached out to Clark Pleasant Schools and they said they've been complying with the state law since 2019, but didn't say whether or not they train their employees on the water safety portion. Boucher hopes schools across the state will take this training even more seriously in light of this tragic event. We would hope that um, in, in this this child's memory, we would take this more seriously, but then also as we get farther away from this particular event that we continue to remember that these are kids that just need people looking out for them in those school buildings. Meredith Hackler, WRTV. Clark Pleasant Schools also did not say whether or not they provide water safety training in regards to epilepsy, but they are looking at creating new pool guidelines to make the pool area safer. Now